for this middleweight fight. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Paolo the Eraser And now introducing the opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Robert the Reaper Whitaker! You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Wide early round action here, and you gotta be mindful of that Paolo Costa power. I know that isn't breaking news, but certainly his opponent talked a lot about that this week, especially at the outset of these rounds, when bodies are dry and not tired. You gotta be careful of all that Paolo Costa Brazilian power coming back your way. Oh, another blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Oh, that's a straight right for Whitaker. That landed flush. When he gets close, he throws, he lands. Fast pace here in the early going. So sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Back and forth we go. Straight punch is true. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the powerful Paolo Costa. He's looking for that left hand, not there. Whitaker circling towards the left now. All right, so now Robert Whitaker mixing it up. You know he loves that jiu-jitsu game. We'll see what he can do on the floor. Robert Whitaker has a full game. I mean, he can do it all. He can rush, he can strike, he can grab. He, he's just a top-notch mixed martial arts. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Counter punch landed there by Costa. Nice leg kick. Just over two minutes, round one. Ooh. Nice body shot. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something. Oh, that's so bad, right? No denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. A big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there by Costa. Oh, and another. 
another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Takes his back now. Lands with the ground and pound here. Nicely done. He's in the mouth. Big ground and pound. Gotta be careful here. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This field. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling. And that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Oh. That horn sound oh. means we have reached the end of round one. Heading back to the corner now, and... However, deliberately, Costa's got a nasty cut above the eye. Cutman has his work to do here in advance of round five. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Round two, Robert Whittaker and the Brazilian Paulo Costa. Ready. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes up. Great striking from Robert Whitaker as usual. This man puts some serious pressure on you. And when you can beat Yoel Romero the way he did, he is not gonna be intimidated by any other 185 pounder in the world. And able to avoid the punch there, nice slip by Costa. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're gonna be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. So 65 total strikes have found the mark for Paolo Costa. And landing with, oh! Oh, nice block. Oh, nice, nice. Oh. Leg kick lands. Oh, Superman punches true. So that cut continues to get more severe with every passing moment of the fight. Every moment. You know, when you get cut in a fight, you expect for it to worsen because you're not going to not get hit anymore. Right now, he's got to do something to try to limit the damage. Otherwise, it's going to get real bad. Another hurt. hurt man. Still plenty of time to go here, round two. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh! And blocks the shot there. So we have crossed the... Oh! Far, perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are gonna have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. All right, well, that blow is bosseting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with super high fight IQ. 
So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Change of the position. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Good, solid strike on the ground. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. Oh, well, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Back, 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 back. Secure the hooks now. Secure the hooks. Got to be careful here. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Good work from the top here by Whitaker. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. He's in half guard. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs the strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough you that fight. your chin is. You Here we go. Five minutes remain in the fight. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. Costa's shot there is blocked. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Costa gets tattooed by that straight punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, he hurt it bad. Oh, he lands a big left hand. Oh! Whitaker's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. this effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. We go back inside the octagon for the official decision. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, three seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Robert the Reaper Whitaker! Well,
Illinois still on the right side of 30, and Robert Whitaker just continues to add to what is already the best legacy for an Australian fighter in UFC history. There is nothing this man cannot do inside that octagon, as you saw here tonight. Congratulations to the Reaper, Robert Whitaker.